When John and his wife bought their Hollywood home, it came with a sea grape tree. Now this thing goes up. Now a massive sea grape tree that splits into four big trunks. It's a beautiful tree. It's a gorgeous tree, except. Except over the past 50 years, the tree has grown too large for John's yard. It's risky and it's too big for the area that it has grown into. The roots from the sea grape have already buckled the sidewalk in front of his home. John and the city of Hollywood split the cost of the new sidewalk. Now the roots are going the other way and are rising up under John's house. And this thing is working its way over here. It's cracked this concrete wall here where the planter box is, and it's working its way into the base of the house. Even more dangerous, the tree can't be cut back anymore. The branches hang over his house, and when the wind blows, the four tree trunks start moving. And those trunks just move five to six inches in the wind, and they just creak and crack, meaning that the tree could come down in a, in a hurricane. John talked to an arborist who told him, in his opinion, the tree was a danger to his house. My arborist said that he would uh, recommend taking the tree down. John is willing to pay the $2,200 to cut the tree down and the $1,000 to replace it with four palm trees as the city would require. So he asked Hollywood for a permit and their arborist reviewed it. Then he waited. Finally, I called back up again. Couldn't talk to the arborist, but the person at the desk said, the arborist said, the tree can't come down. John says, forget the experts, just use common sense. Common sense looks at it and you say that the tree is too big for the yard that it's in and the proximity to the house is too close and the tree needs to come down. John is convinced if the city won't let him take the tree down, the next hurricane will do it. If this tree comes over, those 18 inch branches are gonna come into my house. They're gonna take the house down. Well, Howard, John's arbor says, yes, the tree should come down. The city's arbor said, no, it should not. What can a homeowner do? First of all, get your arborist to write a report giving their professional opinion why the tree is damaged and according to the city's rules, why it can and should be removed. If the city refuses to accept that, you can appeal it to the Department of Planning and Development Services. And if they don't let you take it down, take them to court and let a judge decide. I contacted the city of Hollywood. A spokesperson told me they try to save as many trees as possible. But if John hired a certified arborist who was convinced the tree needed to come down, they would reconsider his request. John hired him. The arborist wrote that the sea grape tree had several large decay columns, that there is significant damage around the tree, and there were structural defects. The city of Hollywood got the report, then gave John the permit to remove the tree. It didn't take the tree cutters long to remove the sea grape tree. No one wanted to see it taken down, but John didn't want to risk seeing it tumble down on top of his house. And I'm a f of the firm belief that without Channel 7 getting involved and Patrick getting involved, I would have never been allowed to get the tree down, ever. Now, John is irritated that the city's arborist didn't tell him that a written report from his arborist might change their mind. We know about things like that because we do this all the time. So if you hit a roadblock at a government agency, ask them if there's anything that you can do to change things. If that person says no, go speak to a supervisor, the city manager, the mayor, anyone you can find. Got a problem that's uprooting your life? Want to see if a solution grows on you? Contact us. We don't have a trunk full of solutions, but we can branch out and embark on a path to find an answer. With this help me out, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.